So I thought I'd shoot an update video on this uh, 48 foot tall multi-generational passive ICF house that I'm DIY building. And it's been about a month since I did the pour, getting ready to brace everything so that we can do our next pour. So anyways, I don't think I have a shot a video from this perspective yet. So I just thought I'd show you the front of the house. Uh, it's interesting in terms of perspective, the 10 foot windows don't look very large from out here, but I'll show you what they look like inside. So over there are the open wood floor trusses open within about a week or so. We'll be able to put those last open wood floor trusses in. My glue lamb beams just showed up. One of them is 36 feet wide and the other one is 38 feet. And so obviously I'm no longer putting those in by hand. I will have my crane operator when we put the uh, open wood floor trusses in. Then we'll also first be setting these glue, glue lamb beams. Uh, the other update is I did a little pour, shot the video with my dad. Concrete operator was absolutely amazing. He was the one who was basically, concrete operator did the pour. And uh, my dad, 72 year old dad basically uh, just moved the concrete around just a little bit and then we finished it and put in the rebar. This concrete uh, footer is for the bump outs. So the entryway is going to have a two foot bump out and then same thing for the garage. We'll have a two foot bump out and then that far garage bay will have a five foot um, bump out. And uh, the reason for those has to do with the setbacks because of the cul-de-sac. And uh, let's see, let's go ahead and, and jump on in. So since it's been uh, 28 days, and, uh, I can go ahead and start taking down all this bracing. You want to leave your bracing up for a full 28 days. And so taking it down here. And uh, so this, this gives you an idea of what the 10 foot window. Let's see if I can back up safely. So there's the 10 foot window that is in my parents' living room. But what's really fun is when you stand right in front of the window, it just feels like you're outside and you get that beautiful view of Tampa. Now let's go ahead and hop up. Oh, another update is I bent a whole bunch of these. Uh, those are called stirrups, rebar stirrups for the lintels above the big windows. And we also got a whole bunch more OSB so that I can put in that temporary floor for the third floor and we'll go ahead and come on up to the second floor you can see that we've now been able to put the tops of the windows in and so all of those have now been finished over here you see that beam pocket i've left that open so that i can slip my um, uh, glue lamb beams into that side I'll probably finish that window over there. It's not necessary for what we're about to do. And then uh, finished all these windows. Both of the units up here on the second and third floor. So here in the living room, they also get the same 10 foot window. And uh, once again, view is just spectacular. Actually, I want to show you the view in my daughter's bedroom. So we spent a lot of time moving these rooms or I mean moving the windows around specifically so that her bed can go right here so when she's laying in bed she doesn't see the neighbor's roof as the sun is rising and then over here unfortunately we weren't able to do that just because of the curbside appeal we needed all the windows to be at the same level so yes you still do kind of see that neighbor's roof but you get to see temp. And then we'll go ahead and hop up, hop up so you can start to get a view of uh, what it'll be like on the third floor. So those pieces of metal up there, that's called the Watkins ICF hanger system. Very slick system. So the, putting in all those, all the rebar, and uh, that's actually what the open wood floor trusses will be sitting in. I need to put my two by fours underneath to support the weight of both the trusses as well as all of us. 
because it's nice when I pour the next level, it's nice to be walking around on a basically the third floor instead of pretty high, um, a pretty tall scaffolding. So right now I'm about three feet up onto the third floor, but this is the views that we get. Had some wildfires, so that's why it's kind of smoky right now. But you can start to see off in the distance how we're now starting to get to the height where we can look over the top of almost everyone's houses and a lot of the trees. And uh, from this spot right here, um, uh, let's see from uh, where the foam is right now, I still have another 13 feet of foam to stack on this side, on the north side. And then because it's a monoslope roof, I have about another seven feet of foam to stack on, on that side. So I'm getting there. So I'll do another pour, and, uh, stack more block, do the last pour, and then I'll finally be able to get up on that rooftop deck be able to see if I can see Utah Lake off in the distance. So anyways, um, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the update and if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe and so you can follow along on the adventure. Until next time, thanks for watching.